Hi again, everyone. Scott Pyra, Pop Cult fan here. It is now the 1st of April. Uh, time just goes by so fast. April Fools, everyone. Uh, not that I'm going to do any jokes. I mean, I could. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, uh, April Fools. Uh, you know, um, today is actually my best friend's birthday. You know, Sean, Cash Vault. Um, and happy birthday, Sean. You're 28. <laughs> so, yeah, for this video... Um, you know, this past weekend, there was a trailer released for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, but only in IMAX, and I was sad that I wasn't going to be able to see that, because I did go to the theaters last Thursday with Sean, and we saw, uh, you know, a Godzilla X Kong, and I did my review for that, uh, but it was just in a regular theater, it wasn't IMAX, but there was a special preview released for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, and they just released it online, and... I want to go ahead and do this trailer re reaction, and it's like a three minute trailer, um, and you know I've seen it a few times already, but you know I want to do my reaction. You know it's just like a one minute of a clip, and then like the rest of it is like a story focused trailer. So I'm gonna go go ahead and do this reaction, and then I'll get my thoughts on it. All right, guys. Huh. side but it ceases to exist apes hunt humans that is the law but the law is wrong huh. I ask you chose humans village. I will find them. I will bring it them. that was the trailer and yeah <laughs> it looks really exciting you know i liked hearing like the score in that hunt scene um you know it really you know, just added to the experience to the uh weight of what was going on um uh, with that giant with the gorilla um looking for may um it, it was intense and exciting and you know, you know in that in that moment you, you know you hear noah calling out to Nova, um, and that's interesting because 
you know, May is probably her real name, but, you know, uh, Noah doesn't know that, and he's just calling her Nova. That's what my thinking is there. And then, you, you know, we get more of the story a little bit, a little bit more of a hint of certain things, like in, in some dialogue, Raka mentions that apes are hunting humans, and that's sort of the this law that Proximus Caesar has put out with his clan of apes. Um, so that's interesting. And then, um, you know, he, also hearing Raka talking about how humans and apes sort of coexisted at, at a time, but many a long time ago, and then that didn't, doesn't cease to exist. But, you know, we all know that's sort of vaguely uh, not really true. But, um, <laughs> you know, and that's what's interesting, because there's like some... Uh, time that just made things a little jumbled between different clans of apes in this new time frame 300 years after war and I think that's very fascinating you know and there's also this one moment with Proximus Caesar where he's sort of having a bit of a Copa and Caesar a Copa and Caesar moment with Noah and how <clears throat> you choose humans over apes, you know, it's like that, you know, sort of like a play on that one scene in Dawn between Koba and Caesar, um, and, but it's a bit of a, a bit of a turnaround in a way, and I think that's really what's really fascinating, and you know, just overall, like the look and the feel of this film, the backdrop, you know, just almost every shot just looks like a painting come to life or something and it looks beautiful it really does I, I love the cinematography from where I, everything that i've seen so far with all these trailers and i'm i'm just so fascinated with the story and there's one character that they still haven't shown off in any of these trailers william h macy they still haven't shown him off in anything um which makes me think that you know there might be some sort of secret regarding his character and uh, and I'm, I'm, I don't want to theorize and have have it be wrong, but I have I'm pretty sure it has something to do with May, um, and I'm curious what they're gonna do with the character of May and where she comes from. I I really don't like the theory that she might be an astronaut. I I don't like that theory. Um, I mean it's possible, but I I honestly think that they should have it be a little bit smarter of a story for her origin in a way that I think it should be more in line of maybe she's from this other clan of humans where they can't talk but they're a little bit smarter you know because we still haven't heard her talk at all in any of these trailers either so I, I'm, I'm pretty sure she's still mute uh, pretty sure um, unless there's something um, that they're not revealing that they want to keep a surprise, I'm not sure, but I, I think she is still a human that's mute, uh, but she's just a little bit smarter, and, you know, that's something that goes all the way back to the ALZ-113 uh, virus, uh, from, um, and how it mutated and affected people differently. That's what I think should be the case with May's character, and how she's like a, a descendant of of a clan of humans that could still talk at, at, a, at a time um, and were smart enough to, you know, survive on their own. And, you know, I, I just think that May's character and quite possibly her father, William H. Macy's character, just a theory of mine, um, might have like a broken English similar to how the apes had broken English in the second film, Dawn. That's what I'm thinking. And that's what I think it should be. Um, just, uh, yeah, uh, those are my thoughts. And I'm super excited. I cannot wait for this. Uh, yeah, a brand new trailer. Uh, and it, it just continues to impress me in almost every way. And I, I, I cannot wait for this. I, I, I just can't. It comes out next month. So it's really literally right around the corner now. Finally. Oh my goodness. So that should do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Happy April Fool's Day. Peace. <laughs>